Hello, this is the CRT man here. I have some very unfortunate news that occurred on March 5th, 2014 with my Motorola W385 cell phone that I got in 2008. I unfortunately lost it on the BART train while I was going back home from school. And of course, I looked around because I noticed uh, while, while I switched trains after, I, while I switched trains from being on a loud car, um, I just noticed at one moment it was not in my pocket where it last was, and I got on the train with it in my pocket. So I started switching and scrambling around between both cars back and forth for the for the rest of the ride. Many people actually even tried to help me. But the worst part was I had it on freaking vibrate because I was in school earlier and I forgot to take it on vibrate. And even after doing a seriously enormous <laughs> report, uh, like, well, not really seriously or enormous, but just dumping all the information I could give them, whether it be what time, like, the BART train left, uh, like, what, which number it was and and what number of cars I was in and what time the stuff happened and phone numbers, names and addresses. <laughs> I'm making a reference there. Uh, but, of course, if you know BART, they'll never find it. And that's what everyone was telling me, that it's gone, man, it's gone. So you might as well not even think about it anymore about any way of getting it back ever again and eventually that's exactly what happened I never got it back but yeah it does have a somewhat large effect on my YouTube channel because I unfortunately could not get uh, many pictures of CRT televisions and monitors on the street that I hadn't sent to my email yet so I'll get to that and along with many sentimental pictures from 2008 to 2014 so it was a big loss, and I really did like the phone, but oh well, what can you do? So here are the names and models of the pictures of the CRT monitors and uh, televisions that I failed to transfer the pictures of uh, to my laptop before I ended up losing my phone. The first one was a Dell M991, uh, M991. CRT monitor from November 2001, saw it on the street in San Mateo, actually, in December 2013, while on the bus many times, the Samtrans bus. And the second one was the Apex AT2002 CRT TV, silver plastic crap, from, ironically, April 2002, uh, on its face abandoned in uh, Marin when I was on the Golden Gate Transit bus, also going to school many times and just happened to one day get up and get pictures because both of them were there for many months. Third one was again in San Mateo. It's ironic how all these ones were not in San Francisco. But these, uh, this, the first one was of a Sony Trinitron KV-20M20. Very related to my 20M10, only it was from October 1996 instead of August 1994. And, uh... And next to it was a Zenith CRT television set from October 1990. I forgot the model number. It was like SL260W something. I, I don't think that's right, though. And, I, of course, I couldn't get an image for that because I didn't know the model. But, yeah, those were and those were found uh, February 25, 2014. And I got the remotes for the two because they had remotes. Uh, the pictures were actually really good pictures, but I unfortunately lost them. So, uh, and whenever I emailed myself the pictures, it always came up with my phone number and vzwsomethingpics.com, and still does that with my new phone, which is a, also a flip phone, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if I could actually figure out if there's any way to access my pictures there, which even though it's kind of creepy, it would be convenient if my mom could turn back on my old phone for a short time, since it's probably still running around in the BART right now and get those pictures off and if anyone knows how to do that please let me know so yeah there you have it and rest in peace my phone i had it for a good six years it was a great phone it survived over thousands of drops on the cold hard ground and still turned on to the day i lost it and um, and just for a quick um tribute besides the uh, video you've been seeing this whole time of the official review i did of it in april 2013 I'm going to show you it featured in a couple of my old videos between 2012 and 2013.
So enjoy the few silly moments you're about to see. Thank you for watching, and yes, it may be sad news, but my new phone is has quite good picture quality, and just stuff like that, but it's still probably running around on the BART train right now, so rest in peace, and had a long, good six-year life. Thanks for watching. Uh, man, I don't even know what time it is. Wait, let me get my cell phone. It is... 7.15 This game is somewhat similar to Atari Hello Ah, oh, already February 7th, I took those pictures with my cell phone The Motorola W385 And, um, as you see uh, the cathode ray tube was just left stray on the street on top of, like, some bookshelf. I built in an LCD monitor. Boy, I am seriously sorry about that. My mom actually, once again, called in the middle of the video, <laughs> just like she did last August 2012 in one of my early videos, and I had to redo the entire video because I wasn't good at editing, and recently in my Super Mario Brothers Let's Play, uh, but yeah, before I cut this video short again, 